Hello and welcome to Top X, where we count down the very best of YouTube. I'm your host, Dan. No one cares about you, bitch! And today we're going across the pond and counting down our picks for the top 10 British YouTubers. To get our ranking today, we used a mix of subscriber numbers, votes from our users, personal preference, and general impact on the YouTube community. Number 10, Dan is not on fire. Okay, I think I got their attention. How would your parents react if you told them you were quitting law school to work on your YouTube channel? Well, just think about that while you look at our next entry, Dan Howell's blog, Dan is not on fire. Imagine them pooping. Just imagine it. All right, there we go. Dan, other Dan, is the sort of king of self-deprecating blogging humor on YouTube. He refers to his channel as a internet support group, one where you can laugh at his life so you can feel better about yours. What a nice guy. Your mum is allowed to have sex with a boyfriend, but if you can hear it, just play music as loud as you can and rock backwards and forwards in the corner until it stops. As I mentioned when we covered him way back in 2014, Dan's vlog covers pretty much all aspects of his day-to-day -day life. This is a vagina. Now, when a girl reaches a certain age, she starts... No, no, what am I doing? From life-changing embarrassment to the everyday struggle of trying to get out of bed. I mean, us humans don't have to hunt animals to stay alive, but unlike bears, we can't just hibernate through our responsibilities. Which of us has it worse? A personal favorite of mine, though, are his takes on advice columns, which are basically just rants. Rise and shine, mother it's a brand new day. Are you gonna stay in bed like a wuss? Or are you gonna get up and grab life by the tit balls? Number nine, Jack Scout. <laughs> Moving on from a pretty standard vlog to one that's pretty darn experimental, we have Jack Scout, run by brothers and twins, Jack and Finn Harrys. We persuaded them to join us on a rather mad trip across India. Essentially, Jack's Gap is a travel vlog, although the stated goal is to tell stories. What are we going to do today? We're going to go see our uh, rickshaws. For the first time. For the first yeah. time, you yeah. haven't seen them yet. Yeah. With that in mind, know that there's a huge variety of different styles crammed into the various travel videos they do. From a full-fledged series with a number of different characters like Rickshaw Run, which is a trip through India, to simpler artsy pieces like 24 Hours in Tokyo. <laughs> Man, somebody's gotta get this guy a GoPro. Uh, this is a monitor so I can see what the camera's seeing, and these are some counterweights on the back to make it all balance. As much as the brothers like to travel, there's also a lot of different other things crammed onto the channel, like the shed sessions, which are musical sessions that take place in their sheds. Be wise of those new around you. Or simple vlog style updates. Lots of stuff to dig into, especially if you think the brothers are cute. We're literally minutes away from starting the race. Everyone is really excited, a little bit nervous. This is amazing. It's such a great atmosphere. Number eight, Comedy Shorts Gamer. Hey guys, it's Comedy Shorts Gamer here. Coming up next is one of the few channels we'll see today that we've actually already seen on this show and a personal favorite of mine. At number eight is Deji, the Comedy Shorts Gamer. It's not showing anything. So you can't, wait, so you can't see me? Mouth, Dad, open your mouth. We do this show every week, so we end up watching a lot of YouTube. And as a result, there's rarely something that really catches my eye and I think is funny enough to share with my friends. When you're in an exam, right? You're just doing the exam and all you hear is <coughs> All you hear is sniffing and coughing and, and that's, the most, that's the most annoying thing ever. Dejdi's videos generally buck that trend as I've personally shared some of my favorites from him, specifically his banana and Sprite challenge. Can you switch off the camera? <laughs> and the prank where he tells his mom that he's got his girlfriend pregnant. Three months pregnant! Good stuff. Pregnant! Three months pregnant! <laughs> sort of a mix between a prankster gamer and a vlogger, Deji's videos are clearly popular because of his all-round likability. It's less about what he's doing and more the fact that he's just doing it. He does torture his poor parents a lot though. Don't, don't try to prank me. Don't. I saw that piece of cloth. That was in there. You preface. I was just on the phone to Jonathan. I saw that piece of cloth. Number seven, Emma Blackery. Hey there, are you gonna be single on Valentine's Day? You're watching YouTube videos. <laughs> of course you are. If Dan Howell's blog were run by a young woman instead of a young man, it would probably look a lot like this next channel, Emma Blackery. And finally, Genitalia. Never thought I'd say that. Emma's channel is a mixed bag of a lot of the different elements you see on very popular YouTube channels. That's a lot of biscuits. No, don't burn. 
Okay, you're, you're still burning. She vlogs, she does skits, she does little songs with her ukulele, and she's always changing her hairstyle. Am I, am I too fat? Am I too hard to use, or what? It's really one of the youtube channels out there, if that makes any sense. Then the Lord said to Moses, Stretch out your hand over the sea, so the waters may flow back over the Egyptians and their chariots and horsemen. Moses stretched out his hand over the sea. One of her best videos is a skit where she plays all the various social media platforms as people out on a date. And another is a song that she plays on her ukulele, ripping Google Plus completely apart. It's pretty harsh. Fuck you, Google Plus. We don't want your us. One thing I should probably mention is that while she has the lowest subscriber number out of anyone we'll see today, she actually had the highest amount of upvotes on our suggest page. So, Mojoholics approve. No, really. So naturally, I figured I should pass on some of the knowledge I've acquired over the years. Number six, Stampy Longhead. Hello, this is Stampy. Coming up next is another veteran of the show, the irrepressibly cheerful Mr. Stampy. It's the In case you haven't been paying attention to the YouTube scene, one thing that's really been dominating lately is Minecraft. I spent over a year inside of Stampy's lovely world, and I still haven't even explored over half of it. Oh, look at this place! And Stampy is up there with the best of them. Although he does upload footage from other games. I oh, see. Oh, yes, they can! <laughs> I did! <laughs> Minecraft is really his thing. Even his trailer is done in Minecraft. I make videos on a bunch of different games and upload at least one Minecraft video every single day. Something that I mention every time we feature Stampy on the show is that he's very consistent and child-friendly. His videos are really whimsical, and he doesn't swear, and he uploads pretty much a new one every day. Meaning that if you have little ones that like to consume everything Minecraft, he's a safe bet. Go oh, get it. it? Ah, oh, I already pretended to throw it. Oh, you gullible squid. Number five, Thatcher Joe. And you're probably wondering, Joe, how are you going to do this? As we near the halfway point, you're going to start to notice a pattern with siblings. We've already seen one set of twins, and one guy whose brother might appear later down the list. But for now, we're focusing on another person with family ties, also later down the list. So funny, every time, I always laugh a lot. <laughs> In case you didn't know, Joe Sugg is the brother of the ludicrously popular Zoella. And if you don't know who that is, I guess you'll just have to keep watching. I just would quite like to see what you look like as a female. I'm not sure you'll look too pretty. Joe's channel is yet another that's quintessential YouTube through and through. He's big into pranks, impressions, and challenges, and often features other popular YouTubers joining in the fun. So ah, many! I think you ripped a mole off my back. Actually, pretty much all of his videos feature some sort of unpleasant prank or challenge, and it's fun to watch if pretty self-deprecating. Nah, wood, just wood. I'm just freaking wood, Malfoy. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> Number four, Casper. Hi, my name is Casper Lee, and my roommate's a dickhead, so I've decided to prank him. Our next entry is almost cheating, because although he was born in London, he was raised in Nisna, South Africa. Although he's now back in London, so he still counts. Also, you might recognize his roommate from our last entry. Ha ha ha. I thought I'd scratch myself in the shower. What are you talking about? What do you mean, what am I talking about? Oh, towel. I turned around. Where's this towel? <laughs> <laughs> Almost every one of Casper's videos features a guest star, a prank, or both. Jump on him. Casper. Oh, Casper. Um. Joe! Casper. What's going on? What the hell? This is not cool. It's a really lighthearted, fun, and mischievous channel, and one where you can regularly spot some of the biggest names on the YouTube scene, and not just the sub kids. No, you did. What the hell? Casper, I spent hours doing that. Are you kidding? I'm so done with you! I am done with you! Casper's actually landed some pretty high-profile guests on his show. Macy Williams, who plays Arya Stark on Game of Thrones, stopped by for a chat in one of his clips, as did Kevin Hart. What about this picture of us ice skating? We're not- we're not in the picture! <laughs> it just says ice skating! He's also got a pretty cringeworthy interview with porn star Asa Akira. My first time having <laughs> was actually an accident. The guy was like- we were on his bed and he was <laughs> doggy and he was f***ing me like really hard in my Which is actually the only video I've seen her in where I've actually watched the whole thing. Number three, the diamond minecart. <laughs> Taking a break from traditional vloggers and pranksters, we have a good old fashioned Minecraft channel. Now, if this is the sort of thing that surprises you, you clearly haven't been paying attention. 
Can we just get into playing the game? I that's, guess that's, that's probably, probably best, best, to be honest. So, yeah, let's do this. Welcome to Minecraft. This is that's literally cool. where I spend most of my days. While Minecraft videos are nothing new to YouTube, Dan Middleton, who runs this channel, really likes to think outside the box. Or cube, in this case. Yeah, let me just take a quick to be very quiet. Whoa! Whoa, what, what is he doing? Like I mentioned the last time we saw him on the show, he mixes elaborate scenarios, strange new mods, and a series of ongoing characters into his videos to really shake things up. Can I help you? Uh. Great, what can I do? Uh. Number two, Zoella. Hello everyone, today I am doing something that I have never attempted to do before. If you've seen the show before, or if your YouTube algorithm thinks that you identify as a girl, you're probably already familiar with our number two pick, the insanely popular Zoella. She is one of the rising stars of the global video blogging world, a YouTube channel offering hair and makeup tutorials. Goes by the name of Zoella. We initially listed Zoella as a makeup artist on our list of makeup gurus, but she's really a lot more than that. Basically, today I am going to a printing house to watch my book being printed for the first time. Infinitely popular. She's won awards, has a best-selling book, and consistently tops lists of the most influential YouTubers worldwide. Today, I wanted to do a haul video because I have, I, have, I was gonna say I haven't done one of these in a while. Clearly I have, I do them all the time. Plus, she's got impressive family chops as well, as her brother is Joe Sugg, who we saw earlier. One thing I always like to mention about Zoella is that she's irrepressibly charming. She's always smiling and laughing. I actually defy you to try to find a still or a video where she isn't. Okay, so I hope you found this helpful. I actually had quite a lot of fun filming that. Before we get to our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Number one, KSI. <laughs> Topping off our list is KSI, or JJ as his friends like to call him, who is the brother of Deji, who we saw earlier. I told you there'd be a sibling pattern. <laughs> Essentially a Let's Play channel, KSI plays a lot of FIFA and gets pretty worked up while doing it. Rats, fucking hell! Yes! <laughs> of course, as most popular YouTubers tend to do, he has now branched out into a number of other skits and guest appearances, all of which feature a fair amount of crude humor and high volume antics. Oh! Oh my! Not one to just rest on his laurels, KSI has actually branched out into some new ventures, as he's recently released a music video titled Lamborghini. It's about his Lamborghini. Much like his brother, KSI's channel is clearly popular because of his all-round likability. Although he's quite loud, he's also pretty witty and really funny. And also like his brother, he really likes to torture his parents. Have you showed your parents two girls one cup? There's nothing wrong with that. Okay. Okay, Dad. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Dad, it's not over. <laughs> That's it for our list. We hope you found it quite splendid. Be sure to vote on upcoming lists on our Suggest page. Check us out on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. And for more great videos published every day, be sure to check out and subscribe to WatchMojo.com.